Hello and welcome to this channel. And today I'm doing it from my PC because I want to share with you uh, just a couple of things on the latest political mm, melee that's happening in the UK. So what I want to do is I want you to look at this man. Yes, you probably know who this is. This is Keir Starmer, also known as Starmer, the Granny Harmer, Starmer, the Kid Starver, Tutia Keir, and many, many other names uh, to do with sausages. But just look at this man's eyes. You know where I've seen these eyes before? I mean, this guy creeps me out. Totally. I'm totally creeped out by him. I've seen these eyes on landed sharks. Sharks that have been landed, and then you look at the eye, and that's exactly the eyes that I see. He is a weird, weird man. Oh, they also call him uh, Queer Tear as well. And I want to show you something that's happened just today. So this morning, I saw um, uh, this, a petition for a new general election. Keir Starmer's approval rating is, is at 2%. I know they used to do like minus and stuff like that, but 2% of the population still think he's all right. And 98% hate his guts. Why? Well, I think that what, the, as the emissaries have said, we don't need to do anything to wake people up. People are waking up hand over fist and the politicians, and especially this guy, are doing a fantastic job of making it happen. It's almost as if they're, they're doing it uh, without realising, and none more so than this ugly man. And I say ugly because I live in Spain, and if I was to live in the UK, I would probably not say that. I would say he's a really nice man so that I wouldn't go to prison. Because this is where we are. We're in this place where they're sending people to prison for speaking out, for posting memes. And look what happened. That was this morning. This morning, it was standing at 4, 437,000. And this afternoon, it's now at 700,000. And my feeling is that it's going to get much more as the day goes on. He is, the say, he is the most hated man in the UK. Whatever happened? Whatever happened to the wonderful politics that we used to have years ago when we didn't know anything and they were still horrible and dark and there, But we didn't know. Now we know. And now it's more obvious than ever. And the, the issue is that we've got, we've got a voice now and people are starting to talk about this. No wonder that he's desperately trying to, to stop it. He's trying to silence the voices because it's a disaster for them, absolute disaster. So look, look at the memes, uh, Neil Oliver, uh, Keir Starmer, the granny armor. The guy is, and, and memes about being taken into, into prison on the same day, whilst they're letting out other prisoners to make room, all the prisoners who who have done terrible things and go on to offend in the same day sometimes, to make way for the people who have been really doing horrible, horrible memes. I'm sure you remember when he said uh, that we should release the sausages instead of the hostages. And that in, in and of itself, the word hostages and the word sausages, although there are some similarities, they are very different. So why would he choose the word sausages over hostages? Don't know. Maybe he had sausages for breakfast. Maybe he was fancying a bit of sausage. Oh, they do call them queer here as well. Maybe that's got something to do with it. But why would you say sausages? You know, he, he corrected himself, but it was too late, as you can see here. We asked a hundred people to name something you cook on a barbecue and you said hostages. Well, quite the opposite. We said, name something when people are held against the will uh, and he said sausages. And like Camel Harris, who used to mention the fact that her mum was middle class, 
He keeps mentioning that his father was a tool maker, and I think we're all in agreement with that because his father did make a rather good tool. So in essence, we don't need to do anything. They are fucking it up for themselves, hand over fist, and they don't need any help. They need no help whatsoever. Where is it going to lead to? I don't know. Do you think that there really will be a general election? I don't think so. I think the best outcome is for him to resign, as is the want of all the prime ministers when they get hated, just to resign, and then for somebody else to come in and do the same thing. But I think it's too late for that. What do you think? I think people are waking up in swathes. The Great Awakening is happening at a pace that we have never seen before. The emissaries are over the moon with it. They say the shift's enormous. But even, you know, they've been saying that for a long time. And I've been saying that for a long time. And lots and lots of people have been saying, I just don't see it. I think now we're starting to see it. Now it's starting to happen. Now it's starting to shift. And we can sit back and just observe what's happening because we've done a lot of good work and we continue to do a lot of good work and we're, we're sharing and we're talking and stuff like that. But really, this is out of our hands now. This is the great plan taking place and we just have to be there to watch it happen and to applaud it, as I will, on each thing. What do you think about what's happening? What do you think about this petition? Do you think it's worth anything? Even if, if nothing comes of it, it's like the, the, the American election. When you see this quantity of people who were saying, enough, stop, that's enough. That's the sign that we need. Whether it comes to anything doesn't matter because that's not our job, that's not our business. Our business is just to wake up. That's all. And that's happening. And it's happening in a way that it's never happened before. And that, as they say, is a good thing. What do you think? I'd like to hear your comments in the comments box below. I love you all and I'll speak to you all later. Bye-bye.